Howdy, how's it going? My name's Davy Chappie, and for the first time ever, you get to see what I really look like. Besides, you know, all of those pictures that you see at the beginning of every video, but nobody knows what I look like anyway, so whatever. But today on this Davy vlog, I'm not calling them that, we're gonna be talking about handling romantic relationships in-game. And this is a touchy topic for a lot of reasons. Romance is a strange concept that a lot of people just don't understand anyway, so pretending to understand it is very weird and icky and gross, especially considering you are doing not erotic roleplay, but definitely, like, weird love roleplay with your friends for whom you probably have a very platonic relationship with, and probably do not share a romantic attraction with their gender, so... Mm. I myself do my best to stay away from romance in my own games, and that is because I personally get very weirded out by it. It's not creepy to me to have characters in games, but it is just off-putting for me to think about how I have created a character that is still representative of me because I am the one who is voicing and acting it, and then having another player go in and like flirt with and make interesting moves around with... Yeah. But that's not to say I haven't done it. There are a few times where, for the plot, it has made sense for one of my NPCs to have a romantic relationship with another character. And doing that takes a level of finesse, because you have to respect that it is a game and not a real-life scenario, which is the biggest issue in the world. There are so many creepy people who try to get with a person because they play the role-playing game and then they try to romance all of that person's characters so that they can romance the person and... Blech! I'm gonna be making a lot of noises on this. The biggest thing you have to establish is boundaries. Boundaries matter a lot, especially with romance. Especially in any romantic relationship, real or fake, boundaries are the biggest issue. We do not need another Far Verona. If there is going to be romance at all, or if your players are acting as if they want to have romance in their games, then you need to establish either right then and there, or right at the end of the game, hey, this is gonna be all in game, and, or you can just say, no, I do not want to have romance in my games. We can, like, have it be its own off-the-page, like, off-the-screen type deal. Like, you can give control of that NPC completely to the characters. Just say, hey, t take this. They're not in the story anymore. This is yours. Decide how you want that to play out, because I do not want to be that person that you are doing this thing with. And that's fine. That's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. You, as the DM, and more importantly, as a person, get to decide what your boundaries are and what lines you are not going to cross. This is the same for your players. If you want to have romantic relationships in your games, then your players have to be cool with it. You can't just have a character show up and be all like, Yes! I am here! For the sex! And then have your players be all like, That's okay, thanks, goodbye. It's not okay. And even when you are role-playing romance, it's not a one-to-a-hundred thing. It's not an on-off switch. It's not a thing where you say, okay, we're going to have romance, and now everything goes. Fair game for everything. No, you can establish exactly how much you want to have in there. It can be a full-blown love story if that's what you want and what your players want. Or it can be as simple as, yeah, they like each other, and they're going to keep hanging out together, and that's going to be its thing, and they're not going to really be showy about it because they're just not that kind of relationship. And that is also pretty perfectly fine. It all comes down to talking with your players. Pretty much every time I have a video like this talking about, like, how to deal with interpersonal relationships, it always comes down to tell your players how you feel and listen to how they feel, and then find that common ground and you are good. To give some examples for me, I currently have, like, two different romantic relationships that are me and a player. For one of those relationships, it was very much will-they-won't-they they thing, because the player was being all, like, mating dance, and the NPC was all like, I'm not sure if I'm ready for a relationship right now. And it was, like, like, a nerdy, awkward thing, and we all enjoyed it because we all acknowledged that it was completely in-game and it was just happening for the sake of the story. And it turned into a really, really big plot point. That character, that NPC, ended up leaving the group and disappearing for a while, and then they got kidnapped so that they could be the damsel in distress, and now they are a driving force for that player. And I'm fine with that because, hey, it's an NPC, that's just how these stories go. As for the other romantic relationship, literally, the only reason why this began is because all of the players, the, 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 it is an ASMR and tiefling pairing, and if you're like, oh, that's perfect, that is the exact reason why this exists. All the other players were like, I ship it. And then it just started to become a thing. The two of them, the player and the NPC, started hanging out more. They started going on their own little expeditions on their own to do things, and for them, it was very much a thing of, 
neither of them really, like, for, neither of them really were going to say or act like they had any romantic pairing whatsoever in any way. Literally, to this point right now, they can't even really be called a romantic pairing because they didn't, like, they're not doing anything romantic, but it's such a unspoken bond that they have that I would constitute it as a potential romance just because who knows what's going to happen. And as long as the romance fuels the story and everybody is cool with it, then DM to player romances are perfectly fine. Now, then we have to deal with player to player romances, and that is its own very tricky business. Uh, I currently have two of those in my games. Hilariously, it is the exact same different groups that had the DM to player romances, uh, but it's different people doing different things. So for one of them, it is they are actually dating in real life, and so they are having a romantic relationship between their characters in game. That is a recipe for disaster if they ever decide in real life that they don't like each other anymore. Personally, how it is for me, it's like, okay, they're dating in real life, them dating as characters, perfectly fine. Who cares? If they break up as characters, that's fine. Even if they're not dating in-game, then if they break up in real life, that's gonna explode anyway, and them dating as characters is not going to matter at all. It's, it's like, it's not gonna change the world one way or another in any way. That's just not how it's going to be. So when they're just playing characters like that, then it's perfectly fine. And I mean, their relationship is fine, so yeah, that's life. As for the other group, they are not dating in real life. It is just their characters that have a romantic relationship. And it is very much an off-screen thing. They don't bring it out to the rest of the table and be all like, yes, love which is respectable to all the other players that just might not want to have to deal with that kind of story. And once again, it's a perfectly reasonable thing. They decided that they wanted to do it, and then they did it, and it doesn't affect all of the other people that are playing the game, so nobody is upset. Everybody finds it to be, like, if they even if they don't care about it, they don't find it to be a detriment to the game, so it's fine. Now, the issue is when players are having problems out of game that are bleeding into the game uh, because of romantic tension. And to that, I say... That is not your job. If my players are having their own romantic issues, then I'm going to say, hey, friends, please work this out and then come back to the table. Unless, of course, it is very obvious that one of those people is being a very bad person to the other one, uh, in which case, I mean, viewer discretion. You decide if you are going to insert yourself into somebody's romantic drama. Uh, I would not advise it unless it is very obvious that it is a bad relationship and one of them is having a really hard time dealing with it on their own. Uh, but even then, it's like... You have to be very, very touchy with those. The best option, a lot of the time, is just not to involve yourself. It's very, very unfortunate when something like that happens, because relationships are messy, and a lot of the time, it's either neither of their faults, or more likely, it is both of their faults, because they, like, did some- one of them did some antagonistic thing, and so another person retaliated, but then it's their fault because they started it, and then it spirals out of control and explodes, and it's a messy situation all around. Nobody likes that. And when that happens, you have to disconnect the game from real life, because at the end of the day, you are probably playing with a bunch of people that you you know. If you're not playing with people that you know, and this is just a bunch of strangers, then you are free to just disconnect them for a little while and say, hey, please sort this out as best as you can, and then let us know what the results are, and then click them back in afterwards. But if they are your friends, which is more likely, then, I mean, D&D, unfortunately, doesn't take precedence, and we all sort of, I'm sure, internalize that and acknowledge that as soon as a breakup happens, the game is probably over, and it's awful, but that's the rub. Like, you can't keep playing a game like that. It is just a game, and your real-life friends matter a lot more. So you should be worried about them in real life as friends. And hopefully, even if they don't decide to continue being friends with each other, you can continue to have relationships not romantic with them so that you can keep playing D&D, and hopefully have more relationships not romantic in the games. But yeah, I don't really think there's much else that I can talk about. I've rambled on for as long as I could. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more of these personal, like, face-to-face -face conversations. I really enjoy talking more to people about topics like this, about more social issues that we can tackle together. Uh, and if there's something that you want me to talk about, please feel free to mention it in the comics. I would love to have a bigger library of things that I can make videos on because, honestly, I think I just like hearing myself talk. But I hope you have a wonderful evening. Please check out all of my social media in the description below. But yeah. Davy out.